All right, we're the Hebrew Israelites. Come out here week in, week out. Let's prophesy the downfall of this kingdom for the grace and mercy of your heart. I'm me outside. I'd like to start off by saying double honors of the elders of JMS as always. Honors to your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And we're going to be touching on various topics, but you know, the, you know, the, the, the basic thing is that these different guys out there that are teaching you what's happening, bro. They're teaching these different, these wayward philosophies, man. Right, basically, we ain't supposed to be following those way with philosophies. The most I came to save the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, right, which are the 12 tribes of Israel. Obviously, you're gonna have you know 12 the 12 tribes of Israel dispersed throughout different nations because uh, that's pursuant to prophecy, right? That's pursuant to the fact that the most I said that you know Israel was gonna be scattered for, amongst the nations, right? The, the most I is also gonna be that, that goes into another topic that some of these different guys don't talk about, which is the the um. The fact that uh, that was exact exemplified, right, by the the uh, existence of Cornelius, which was which would have looked like a so-called Edomite, but was a he was a Hebrew Israelite, right. Another thing that you people don't push you, these different uh, 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 sects and so on and so forth, right. They don't push that mark, this man's going to come out with a new thing, which is going to be the mark of the beast, right. The Messiah is going to have it to where this man's going to come out with an RFID chip, right, which is going to be the mark of the beast, right. Now, let's get into the scriptures. Awesome. Now, let's get into the scriptures. All right, this is going to be in uh, Proverbs, the 21st chapter. And the 16th verse. This is Proverbs 21 and 16. It says, uh, The man that wandereth out of the way of the understanding, right? So uh, if you, you know, you came into this thing for whatever period of time and you walk out of the way of the understanding, and what understanding was that? Right, that was the understanding set forth by Abba Bivins, which was uh, 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 which was uh, um, John the Baptist in the reincarnation. When he came on the scene, he basically set the standards. You know, and the elders of GMS set the standards for the for the brothers that are in are in now. Right, and you come underneath these different elders. Right, you you stray away from that. You walk out of understanding. Right, because those men have the full understanding and the full knowledge of these scriptures. Right, and it says. The man that walketh, the man that wandereth uh, the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. All right, now let's touch on some uh, precepts. Now let's go to Revelations, the eighth cha 11th chapter and the 8th verse. All right, the vast majority of these people, because they don't have no understanding, they have no wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? They're walking dead, they're dead, they're, dead. they're walking dead, man. All right, and when the Mosai comes, and really when these troublous, these tre treacherous times, right, come upon us, Right, you're gonna you're gonna see the people that don't have the understanding because they're gonna bug out, like it says in Isaiah, the, you know, the, the um, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. These people are gonna bug out when 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 they see missiles falling falling out of the sky, but right? when they see their precious kingdom falling down, right? But we know through the scriptures and through the prophecies, right, that this kingdom, this society, has to fall down for us to be established, right? Pursuing to Daniel the second chapter on the forty-fourth verse where it talks about. Uh, uh, and these kings shall the most, uh, and in the days of these kings shall the most high set up the kingdoms that snow will be destroyed. Right? Now, this is uh, Re Revelations, the 11th chapter, and the 8th verse. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street, for the, uh, in the street of the great city, which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Right? Where were the children of Israel, uh, um, where were the children of, Ibr children of Israel, which are the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, sold into captivity? They were sold into captivity into America, right? What, what is the spearhead of all things that are contrary to the to contrary to the scriptures, contrary to the 613 laws, statutes, commandments of the Most High? It's America. So that spiritually, that that that, that, uh, that city, that great city, is talking about here. It's talking about the America. It's talking about America, which is called, which is known in the scriptures as Egypt and Sodom. Right, and it's also known uh, under the guise of Assyria, right, and various under uh, and various other uh, uh, um, metaphorical speech, right. And we know it today as America, and this is what the Mosai said. And their dead bodies, 
right, shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And that's talking about the fact that the Lord took away that name, His name, and you got this, these different, you know, these different sects within, within and among Israel, right? That, that, that think that you, you know, the name of the Lord is not important. If the name of the Lord is not important, right? We ain't, we ain't gonna be saved out here because the Most High said, if all Israel turned into the face of the east, right? Prayed unto the Most High, right? Through His name, right? That's when we was gonna get salvation. And this is what we're waiting for. That name seals the elect pretty much, man. Right, the most important knowledge upon the face of the earth is the name of the Lord. All of these different, all of these different religions know that. All of these different heathen know that. And that's why they've kept that name of the Lord right, right under wraps, man. Right, it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the great city, all right, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. The name was taken away, right. And that's why they keep. So they, that's why they do such a great job in, in, in disguising the name of the Lord. If, I mean, if the script, if that don't tell you that the name of the Lord is important, what what does, man? Right. They, they, Esau goes through a great length, right. He, he, he puts a, a lot of a, a great deal of work into disguising and hiding the name of the Lord, man, because he knows that there's power into it. Right, even the so-called Jews, they don't even say the full name of the Most High because they know that they did that. Really, that name ain't for them. It's for the name for the. It's, it's a name that the children of Israel were gonna use in the time of adversity, man. Like when the Lord was on the same, when the Lord was on the same, he was when he was on the sea, He said, "Anything that you pray in my name, right, that shall be added unto you." So you 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 pray for salvation. You pray for the name of the Lord, man. Right, that's why his name is Savior, right, because he's the mediator between the children of Israel and the Most High, right. It says. Where also our Lord was crucified. It says, and they of kindred of the and they of the people and kindred and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three and a half days and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in grace. And that was basically when we was in, when we was in captivity, man. It was like three, like you know, the scripture says, um, uh, one day with the most size is as a thousand years, or a thousand years as as, as one day with the most size. But those three and a half days is indicative of that time we spent in uh, in captivity when we didn't have the name of the Lord. And really, that's what that's what sparks you back awake, man. Right? That's that name, man. Right? And it says, um, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and send gifts to one another because they, they these two prophets taunted them. Right? And it says, and after three and a half days, the spirit of the, of the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. Right? Pursuing to what it says in um. Ezekiel, right when uh when, when it says Son of Man prophesy, prophesy unto these dry bones, all right? For Lord, they are very dry, and a lot of these people are very. There are a lot of Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans are very dry, man. They're very dead, right? Like it says, uh, we're gonna see in the scriptures, man. Folly is set in great dignity within this society, right? That's why that, that's why the, the vast majority of our people is, is dead, man. They're so stone cold dead, man. Oh, yeah, they walk in logs, man. Like a tree, you know how a tree has no motion. When you cut the tree down, it has no motion. That's our people, man. Right? You might, you know. Hey, it says, it says, and after three and a half days, the spirit of the Lord entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw. Right? And that's talking about like uh, um, uh, um, in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, where it talks about um. When the righteous man shall stand in great boldness, and and he shall stand in great boldness before such as afflicted him, right? That's what we're doing right now, and they can't do nothing about it because the spirit of the Lord be with us. This ain't this ain't our own program. This is the program of the Most High, where if the Most High is imparted that spirit on us, right? The water, how why our sight, right? So we can come out here and tell tell our people that you know if if they, if they hear, because the scripture says if they hear or forbear, we're still supposed to be out here pushing this work, right? It says. And after three and a half days, right, uh, the spirit of life of the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them. That source of great fear is upon these people that see us out here confidently and boldly pushing the word of the Yahweh by Shimmy Howard Shai, man, and, and coming out here. And because when they when they ask whose name did you come in, we know the name of the Lord, right? And that's one of those main things. One of the main things that you different camps don't push is the name of the Lord, man, right? Now it's uh, back in Proverbs the 21st chapter and the 16th verse and it says And the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead Right now let's go to Proverbs the 1st chapter and the 7th verse It's Proverbs 1 and 7 it says The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but the fools hate wisdom and instruction Right that's what you call you that's why you call you a fool Nate Right and Gehenna right and General and General Yohanna sorry 
right? And all the, and the 14th Street Israelites, you, you're fools, man. You're a bunch of fools because you had the instruction, you had the wisdom, right? Some of you push the name of the Lord, but you don't push the chip, right? Say the chip is uh, 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 some potato chips, man. This man's going to come down with all kind of wrath, man. Right, we're, we're trying to get ourselves spiritually prepared, hasting and waiting for the coming of the day of the Lord. The scripture says this man's going to come down with great wrath, man. Right, such as has never been seen before on the face of the earth. Right, but you, 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 you wait with prophets, man. The most is going to have to destroy you because you've got these people to, you know, fool. Right, but like the scripture always says, the elect, the most high has the elect in his hand. Right, roughly paraphrasing, the most high has the elect in his hand, so has he got the, the, the deceived, man. Right, both the deceived and non-deceived are in the most high's hand. Right, now this is um, 2 Timothy 3 and 1. It says, uh, This know also that in the last days, uh, in the last days, perilous, perilous times shall come. Right, that's what I was talking about, man. You're going to see perilous times, man. You're gonna, there's all of that food that you imported from these different countries. They ain't gonna be important to you because they ain't gonna be at war with you. So the, the food, the, they ain't gonna be no food. There's gonna be there's gonna be a, a famines, man. Right? That's one of the plagues that's gonna come up up into your society. It's gonna be famines, right? You're gonna be have want of food, like the scripture says, right? War to them that have children in that day, man. And that's a heavy saying, right? But we also know in the scriptures, right? When 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 you people are gonna want to eat, the more side said his services is gonna eat, right? It says, right? This not also in the last days that perilous times should come. Right? For men shall be lovers of them their own selves, right? And we see that today, you know, all of these dudes, it's all up into themselves. It's all about them. It's all about their program, right? The Messiah said he can do whatever he wants, meaning to say it's his program, right? We also know through the scriptures, there ain't no such thing as free will, man. It only, the, only the will of the Messiah is, is coming to pass. So even these, you know, even the, the people that have got, got themselves fooled so they, that they can do their own will, really it's the Messiah just setting them up for, the, for their own destruction. Right, it says, this not also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, right? Covetous, right? Basically meaning to say, uh, uh, wanting something that not, that's not theirs, right? Boasters, right? A lot of these dudes boasting in their own power, man. Right, Nate, we have you believe that he can say, he can actually save you, man. Only the most I can save you. That's why his name's so important. All right, it says, boasters, proud. Right, and you see that with all of these glorious garments that these dudes got, man. They will have you believe you're in the, you are in the, you're in the kingdom, man. We're going to be, the, the scripture said it that we were going to be in sackcloth, man. We're going to be prophesying in sackcloth, man. Right, representing the humility that we're supposed to have because we're in our lowest estate right now. Right, because we went off on the Lord's statutes, commandments of the most high, so the most high cast, away, cast us away from, uh, 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 from him. Now we will have you believe that the most high has redeemed us already, man. Right, and that's why the most is gonna come back. With the Lord, the most is gonna send the Lord with the, with the, with, the, with the Almighty wrath, man. Right, and that's why He said, "Begin at my sanctuary." Matter of fact, let's go to um, Ezekiel the ninth chapter and the fourth verse. Right, this is uh, Ezekiel nine and four. And it says, "And the Lord said, Go." Uh, he said unto him, "Go through the midst of the city." Through the midst of Jerusalem, through the midst of the, the people of the Most High, wherever they may be, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry, right, for all the abominations that be done in the midst there. Right, so we're supposed to be sighing and crying, right? you know, we're supposed to be uh, 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 setting a mark upon, upon the men that sigh and cry. That basically say, look at this man, this is wickedness, man. That, that feeling in their spirit that something ain't right, man. Right, that feeling in their spirit that the, the, the society right, has to go down. It says, and to the others he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the midst of the city, right? And smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, uh, but come not near any man upon whom the mark is, right? And begin at my sanctuary, right? So the Messiah said, begin at his sanctuary, man. Begin, 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 uh, uh, begin with our people, man, right? Because like it says in the scriptures, among my people is, is found uh, a wicked man. Right, you got wicked men amongst Israel that will take away the name of the Lord. They will have you believe that time is going to be easy when the Lord is coming. They will have you believe that this kingdom is going to last in excess of 10 years, man. Right? To get all set up and set up churches and so on and so forth. The Messiah ain't dealing with that, man. Right? The Messiah is on the precipice of destroying this wicked kingdom, destroying this wicked society. Right? Now let's go back to uh, 2 Peter, the third chapter. And this is the. Uh, uh, the 
the, the second verse, it says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, bless, blasphemous. Right? Because it's a blasphemous thing to take away the name of the Lord from all the children of Israel. Man, that's the, most, that's the most powerful thing we have, man. Right? It says, disobedient to parents, right, of which our parents are the elders of GMS, right, in a spiritual sense. Because when the Lord was on the scene, he basically said, right, who is your mother, who is your father? Right, behold the men that are, you know, behold the roughly paraphrasing, like I say sometimes, right? Behold the men that are coming here and do this work, man. That's, that's, that's our family, right? Meaning to say the elders are like our mothers and our fathers, man. Right, our parents, right? Because they, you know, they stay, they've been in this thing and they come out, right? And, you know, so us in the warners of, of wicked men like Nate, right? Like General Yohanna and so on and so forth from the 14th Street. Israel, like, and it says, disobedient to parents, unthankful. On whole, and you, a lot of you guys is unthankful, man. Right? Talking about this, you know, and low winner, I don't fall out of this truth, but talking about the guys that come up, come, been in this thing a couple of years, right? And on, you know, you, you start, you know, start, start bucking up against the truth, start bucking up against the, the, the elders, man. Right? It says, um, it says, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, right? False accusers, incontinent, right? Um, uh, this despises of those that are good right and you hate the fact that the elders are, are diligent man Little you guys hate the fact that the elders of gym are diligent right they do this truth in season and out of season and it's not just the elders you know the elders put set that standard right and the men the elect right they follow the, the, the standard that has been set forth by the elders man and you hate the fact that we the actual really we do, we do actually do actually have order man Cause it ain't about how you dress and so on and so forth. It's about pushing this truth, man. And the order that the most sides put out is that we push this truth, man. Not dressing fancy friggin' garments, man. Right? And do you know what what camp follows that? Only the camp of GMS, cause we seen Nate take breaks. We team, so we seen 14th Street Israelite take breaks. We ain't taking a breath. Hey, we ain't taking a break out here, man. Week in, week out, in season, out of season, like the elders, like, like, like the scripture says, man. Hasten in the day. Right? And it says, traitors, right? It says, heady, heady. High-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high, right? And that's why a lot of a lot of, a lot of people amongst you, Jakes, a lot of people amongst you, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans are like that, man. right? Your love is of your own self, rather than the most high. You want to set up and build. And hey, Jake gets like that sometimes. You want to do certain things and so on and so forth. But really, you gotta remember that the only thing that matters right now is these scriptures. These scriptures coming out and the destruction of this kingdom. That's so what the scripture says, uh, set your uh, affections upon the things that are upon, uh, uh, upon the earth. You're supposed to set your mind upon the things that are upon high. Right? Because this, 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 this society is about to fall, man. Right? It says, right, uh, traitors, heady mind, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. For such, turn away. Right? So you're supposed to turn away from them kind of men. Right? And that's why we always get on you guys, man. Right? It says, for uh, for this sort are uh, uh, they which crept in um, crept into house and led captive silly wind, laden with sin, right, and led away with diverse lust, right, ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Because these guys is always you know, always got a new breakdown, always got this, these different, and they really they don't they don't really bring out no breakdowns, man. They always you know trying to get onto the elders about, but then they cut themselves with their own scriptures, man, right. That's why it says here, but uh uh. Never able to come to the knowledge of truth, right? I mean, what he says, ever learning. That's talking about, you know, these guys. You know, some dudes try to get too deep, man, right? Like the elders, like the elder brother said, man, get go one deep, man, not too deep, right? Anything that's too deep, the most high set up elders that they, they should break that down before for you, right? Now let's go to the next priest. So this is gonna be um, um, uh, First John two and nineteen, I believe. Right, this is first John 2 and 19. It says, They went out from us, right? But they, they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have, have continued with us. Right? But they were not but they went out that they might have uh, they, that they might be made manifest that they were not of us. Right? And that's talking about the fact that these different guys go they, 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 they are, have been in this truth, right? And different guys are gonna come into the truth, but they're gonna fall out. Right, as we're gonna see in the, in the um, in Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, we ain't supposed to be worried about them guys. More size that sort of meant for, right? So examples can be set up often, right? And there's gonna be certain guys are gonna be set the good example as well, like the elders, right? 
But I've set a good example, and that's the example you're supposed to follow. All right, it says, and I'm going to read the next one. I didn't really plan to uh, read the next one. It says, but you have an unction from the Holy One, right? And you know all things, right? Now, let's go to uh, Second Ezra, the, the sixth chapter and the fiftieth verse. Right, it's the second Ezra, six and fifty. Right, and it says, six and fifty. So it's the luck. Right, it's second Ezra, the eighth chapter and the fiftieth verse. It says, "For many great miseries shall be done to them that dwell that." Uh, that are in the latter times shall dwell up in the earth, right? Because they have walked in great pride. And like it says in uh, Proverbs the 18th chapter and the 16th verse, right? Pride goeth before a fall, man. Right? The most like hardens the man's hardens the man's heart before he breaks him down, man. Before he brings him to the ground, All right? And it says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that dwell in, in the latter times, that that to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the earth, in the world, because they have walked in great pride. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like, be like thee. Right. So the Most High said, "Don't worry about these different dudes." Right. Seek glory for men that's uh, uh, that's gonna be like, 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 like unto us. Right. That's why it says it in uh, Ezekiel ninth chapter on the fourth verse. Right. So the mark upon the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Now let's see that in the Romans the eleventh chapter. So this is Romans eleven and seven. It says. Uh, in fact, let's go to 6, because 6 is kind of relevant. It says, if by grace, grace, then it is no more of works, right? Otherwise, grace is no more. But if it be of works, then it is no more of grace. Otherwise, works, of work is no more of work, right? Meaning to say, the, most, the fact that we got this truth is by the grace of Yahweh, Yahweh, right? It says, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which it seeketh for, right? The Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, pursuant to the scriptures, have a zeal for the most side, not, but not according to knowledge. But right, they go into these all of these different philosophies, right? And even on a slightly deeper level, they go into the, they they find out the fact that they're Israelite. But they go and follow these different cats, like the Nathaniel Seven, like 14th Street Israelite, right? But it says, um, um, what then Israel has not obtained that which is seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So the most I saying here, the elect is going to obtain this truth. Right, just going, going back to what it says in his uh, uh, second verse, the sixth chapter. So we ain't supposed to be worried about the multitude that's going to perish, man. Right, and it says, uh, according as it is written, right, the Most High has given them a spirit of slumber. Right, so you got a spirit of sleep upon you if you follow in Nate. Right, I wish the Most, I uh, wish that the elders say Nate might come out of that. We know Gen General Yohan is not going to come out of that because he's he's done way too much with this, man. Right, but he, hey, if if the Most High does do it, which of which most of the brothers say that ain't going to happen. Right, because the level of wickedness he, he's, he's done, it will be still the work. It will be still the work of the both side. Right, but I, that, that that that's most you know for the for 99 percent ain't gonna happen, man. Right, it says, um, according to as it's written, most side has given them a spirit of slumber, which you you guys like I said, like I was saying before, you got a spirit of sleep upon you, man. Right, there ain't no spark, there ain't no jazz within your funk, man. Right, it says, and is. Uh, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day right and it says and David saith that their tables be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them so when you go to these when you actually study man the most I set it up that it's going to be a trap to you man right so that you wasn't going to get it that you're going to be trapped into it, it you're going to be trapped in the different um the different things the different different difficulties like it says um um at the most side reveals his secrets unto his prophets, man. Right, his elect. Right. So when you when you're reading uh, 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 um Cornelius, that's a trap onto you. The mark of the beast, the mark of the beast is a trap onto you, different, different dudes, man. Because you don't have this knowledge, right? Not, not only do you don't you have this knowledge, you're not of the elect, right? Let's go back to Second Ezra, the 50th chapter, the eighth chapter, and the 51st verse. It says, "But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory of such as be like thee." For unto you is paradise open, the tree of life is planted, and the time to come is prepared, and plenteousness is made ready. A city is builded, and the rest and rest is allowed. Right? Because all we do in this kingdom is work, man. Right? We build this kingdom and we still work to maintain it. Right? But the most high is going to destroy this wicked society. Right? And plenteousness, which is going to be which is made ready, is going to be inherited by those people that are of the elect. Right? It says. 
uh, and plentiousness is made ready, a city is built and rest is allowed. Perfect goodness and wisdom, right? And perfect wisdom is the fact that the Most High is going to put that, uh, 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 he's going to write the laws, statutes, commandments upon our minds, man. He's going to write them within our hearts, right? And that's uh, the 53rd chapter, and it says, The root of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness and the moth is hid from you, and corruption is fled into, uh, is fled into hell, right, to be forgotten. It says, sorrow is a past, and the, and in end is show the treasure of, if, if, of immortality, right. It says, therefore ask no more questions concerning the multitude that will perish, right. For they, for when they had liberty, they despised the most high. And that's when you, you have liberty right now, you have, the, you have you got the time to study these scriptures and get into the world, or get into the word, right. Uh, uh, by by the uh, um, I mean the Mosa is not you know they, there's gonna be different camps out there they ain't you know uh, necessarily under the name GMS but they still be pushing this truth right but for the most part it's gonna be GMS it's GMS that has this full understanding right it says uh, uh, from the, when they had liberty they despised the Mosa Nate and 14th Street Israelite and General Yohanna right and all of these different churches and so on and so forth you've got, you've got liberty right now the men of the Lord the full knowledge is out here man by way of the men of the Lord throughout the four corners of the earth right the, 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 the knowledge the full knowledge right the full knowledge is out here man right what you need to stay away from what you need to get into that's all out here right so you've got liberty to do that now you you know like it says here when they had taken uh, when they had liberty right um where am I for when they had taken liberty, they despised more sight and thought scorn of his law, right? You think scorn, you know, for the simple ones, they think scorn of the fact that we, we put garments on, which is indicative of the laws of, uh, and statutes of commandments, right? Because the fringes represent this law, statutes of commandments, right? Which is a damn joke, right? That Nate will get on onto us, 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 different guys get onto us about the garments and so on and so forth, but they line up their, they trim up their beds, man. Right, like, like the scripture says, why trim us down thy ways for the heathen? Put it roughly paraphrased, man. We ain't supposed to trim our ways for the heathen, man. Jews is gonna come out rough, man. Right, but that's because we ain't we ain't in our kingdom right now. Right, we ain't in our own society right now. Right, it says, uh, moreover, they have, uh, sorry, thought scorn of his law and forsook his ways. Right, moreover, they've trodden down the, his righteous. Right, and said in, in their heart that there is no most high. Yea, uh, and knowing that they must die, for as the things aforesaid shall receive you, right? So thirst and pain are prepared for them. So the for, the things aforesaid, the fact that we're going to plentiousness is made ready, right? That's going to receive the men of the Lord, the elect of which I pray. How I how shall I I'll be part of that elect, right? But the, the things that's going to be that's prepared for these uh, 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 these demons, man, well, Nate, right? 14th Street Israelite, General Yohanna, and right, and all of the ones that sleep because they follow them, they're those different men, right? It, it's the fact that they're gonna go through perilous times, man. Right? They're gonna be, they're gonna be, they're gonna, they're gonna have to uh, uh, experience the missiles, man. The ICBMs of the most size uh, imported uh, upon them, them Russians, man. Right? That's why there's a big thing. That's why America ain't touching Russia right now because the minute they do that, it's all like World War Three. I wish that's gonna happen because the most size gonna put the spirit upon them to do that, right? Because it's his will. Right, not the will of man. Right, it says, um, uh, wait a minute. it says, but they, uh, but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them. Right, so it's all about the name, man. You, the, 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 the bare fact that you call yourself an Israelite, right, or you, 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 your, your son, your Joshua, Allah, he, the, he, the prince with the power, that means you gotta, you gotta, what's, what's the power's name, man? Right, it says. Because they have, they have defiled, um, but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them, right? Because we come in the name of the Lord, and when we went off the, on the Lord's statutes, commandments, the Most High, we went off, we, we, we went off, and the Most High put us away because we, we basically defiled his name. Like if you read Ezekiel the 30, uh, Ezekiel the 30, 37th, um, 37th chapter, might be the 38th chapter, where it talks about the Most High is going to take us back, right? But he ain't going to do it for, for, for us, man. He's going to do it for his name's sake. So it's all about his name, man. Because we're we we're representatives of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai in the flesh right now, man. And when we go off, we're defiling the name of the Most High, right? But when we do when we do right, we, we glorify the name of the Lord. That's why he said he's going he's going he's going to raise up the children of Israel for His name's sake. In uh, uh, Ezekiel, I believe it's Ezekiel the 30, 38th chapter, right? It says, "But they which be created have defiled the name of Him that made them, and uh, were unthankful unto Him which prepared life for them." 
It says, and therefore is my judgment now at hand. Right? These things have I showed and not showed unto you all men. Right? The most high has showed this all unto all men. He has, he's not dealing with everyone. Right? It says, these things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and few like thee. Right? The most high was dealing with a remnant of Israel, not the all, all of Israel. Right? It said, thence answer that, behold, O Lord, has thou showed unto me the multitude of the wonders that will begin that thou which uh, will begin to do in the latter times but at uh, what time thou hast not showed unto me and i'm gonna read the ninth verse it says uh he answered me as uh, uh, this is nine and one uh second answer was nine and one he says and he answered me and then said measure thou the times diligently in itself when thou seest the past when thou seest parts of the signs past which i have told uh, thee before right what do, what do we need to see we've seen you know there's famine right there's famines right in different places earthquakes in different places all kind of natural uh, catastrophes right more so than that right you see this man has already prepared this chip and he's about to implement that via the martial law right those are the things that the Mosai said these are signs man signs of times but the end is going to be yet man right the end is going to uh, the end is going to be that world war three and everyone's going to get into that everyone's going to get into it even the men and the lords going to get into that when the Mosai put that spirit upon them and they change uh they change into their celestial form Right, and then we're going to be taken out, right, just before the missiles hit, like it says in uh, uh, Revelations, the 18th chapter, when it says, in one hour shall the devil be destroyed, and it also says, come out of my people, right, let's get back to the scripture, it says, measure thou the times diligently, uh, and diligently in itself, right, so he's supposed to be going into these different youth streams and finding out what the Mosai is doing as pertaining to these different countries coming up against each other, man, right, it says, um, uh, diligently in itself and when thou seest pass of the signs past right which I have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made right therefore when they shall uh, when they shall be seen earthquakes and uproars uh, in the world when you see earthquakes and uproars you've seen all kind of uproars in these different countries man Right, you've seen earthquakes and you've seen earthquakes, you go see more earthquakes, man. Such as has never been, been seen before within the earth, man. Right, and you're seeing uproars like they've never been seen before in earth. People know that tense, the tension that the, the, the most like comes when they're coming back, man. People are realizing we, we ain't the same, man. Right, people ain't the same, man. Right, Esau knows people ain't the same. That's why he's got the children of uh, Israel in captivity right now, man. In a hardcore captivity. Right? It says, um, then shalt the most high, uh, then shalt, then shalt thou well understand the most high spoke of these things from the from the days that uh, were before thee, even from the beginning, right? Because the destruction of America was prophesied way, way, way back in the beginning, right? Way before it was even established, right? That's why it's called prophecies, right? It says, uh, for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end. And the end is manifest. Even also, uh, even so, the times also when the highest shall uh, plain, uh, have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs, right? And everyone, and everyone that shall be saved, and everyone shall be able to, uh, and, and, and shall be able to escape by his works in faith, right? So escape by the fact that you came out and did this work, you are going to escape by faith, right? It says. Uh, Whereby, shall, uh, whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from these said perils, right? And shall have my salvation, and shall see my salvation in the land within my borders, for I have sanctified them, right? Separated them, right? For me, uh, uh, for, uh, sanctified them for me from the beginning, right? So that would, so, so the ones that are going to escape this, these uh, said perils, right? They've been sanctified, they've been separated, right? They, they, they've been selected as the elect from the foundation of the earth, right? It says, from the beginning, it says, then shall uh, they be in pitiful care. So these dudes that have come out here and push these weird doctrines, and these pastors, preachers, and so on and so forth, man, right, they're going to be in a pitiful case in that day, man, right? Because the most likely going to come and destroy them, man, right? But he's going to take his time as well. He's going to enjoy the destruction, man, right? It says, uh, then, uh, then shall they be in pitiful case. Which now have abused my ways, right? Because Nate is abusing the ways of the Most High. You know the way, right way, man. You know the fact that the Most High is going to, you know, uh, 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 you know, preserve and obtain the name of the Most High because that's the way we're going to get salvation out. 
right? It says, uh, they have, because they um, abuse my ways, and they have cast them away despite from, right? And shall dwell in torments, right? For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Now let's jump to the uh, next piece. Now this is Romans, the 16th chapter and the 17th verse. Right, it's Romans, the 16th chapter and the 17th verse. What am I talking about? Is it 16? 16 and 17. Right, it's Romans 16 and 17. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrines which I have which which ye have learned and avoid them right so you're supposed to avoid them dudes that be you know uh, 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 causing contradictions man right and causing confusion amongst the flock the most sad right and that's why we get on you Nate and 14th Street as right right and uh, uh, what's this guy General Johanna right and these different church leaders and so on and so forth because you be causing the, the, the things that you say don't even you don't even you can't even fully support them with the scriptures man you can't support them with the scriptures period man Right? The mark of the beast is the chip, man. It's the RFID chip that's going to be implemented. The name of the Lord is essential to salvation. Right? Cornelius was an Israelite. Right? And so on and so forth down the line, man. Right? And the Mosai is going to set up dudes that are going to lead Israel, but them dudes might be rough, man. Right? They, cause really, we're supposed to be, we're, we're, we're all rough dudes, man. We're in, we're in our kingdom to be wearing all glorious garments and so on and so forth. Talking about order as, as, as pertaining to clothing and so on and so forth. That's a that's 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 a faggot thing, man. That's a homosexual, man. That's 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 what a homosexual does, man. Right? That's what women do. Right? It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions, right, and offenses contrary to the contrary to the doctrine which ye have learnt and avoid them. So you're supposed to avoid certain dudes out there like that. So you brothers have been warned, man, you younger brothers have been warned. Right, of which, hey, really, if you're under under under, under any 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 leader with you know with the name GMS on them, you're gonna stay away from them because them oh, them brothers are gonna look after you anyway. Right, uh, this is um, Isaiah 56 and 10. Right, it's Isaiah 56 and 7, it says, His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs, right? That's the watchmen, the people that are supposed to be telling you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans what you're supposed to be doing, right? Nate, right? Uh, 14th Street Israelite, right? And, um, and different pastors and preachers, General Ihana and so on and so forth, they're all dumb dogs, man. They ain't telling you that you're going you're gonna to watch the news and so on and so forth. They ain't telling you that the chip is, 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 is out there, man. Only the L's and GMS are, 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 are doing it. That's why I said they're all dumb dogs, man. Alright? It says, uh, uh, his watchmen are all bl are blind, right? They're all ignorant. They're all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, right? Uh, loving to slumber. And that's what these different dudes love to do, man. They love to sleep, man. Love to slumber, right? And that's what you, the dudes that follow them, you guys that follow these different leaders, man. Right, you gotta get out of that madness if you be of the elect. If you ain't gonna, if you ain't of the elect, you're gonna score, right? And you ain't gonna get this truth, right? But the, we know the missiles. That's why it says in Second Ezra, there's eighth chapter and the fifteenth verse and down, right? We don't, we're not worried about you, man. You ain't of the elect, right? Let me just wrap it up with uh, Jeremiah, the fourth chapter and the twenty-second verse. Right, this is uh, Jeremiah, the fourth chapter, and the twenty-second verse, and it says, um, "Right, my people are fool. Uh, my people are foolish. Uh, for my people is foolish. Right, they have not known me. They are sortish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to, uh, wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge." Right, it's talking about the fact that you dudes, right here, out leading the people, right, 
you why you are wise to do wickedness man you're wise and deceiving the people into following you right right but you have no knowledge to, to, to tell the little, 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 little children of Israel follow the most high and in fact that the most high is the name of the most high is important and all those different things that the GMS do but the people don't do man right but pretty much with that you know we're gonna say say you know uh, uh, you know it's really that's a video for, for the elect man right you, you scorners out there you know you, just, you stay off man right so you double honest to the elders of GMS honest to you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity we'll see you on the next one Shalom. Thank you.